Hey guys, this video is dedicated to Illumis and Art TCG. If you've not already checked his channel, it's recently been reset, so be sure to go and resubscribe to his channel. Hey guys, Chris here from Rough of Course, and today we're going to be doing a product review. Uh, we don't do many of these on the channel, but here we go. So, I've recently splashed out on these Castle Arts coloured pencils. Um, currently on sale, Amazon, £50. I thought I'd give them a whirl, see how they do, see how they compare to some previous pencils which I have purchased in the past. Um, so we will be going through the product, we'll be going through some of the older pencils, the quality, the art, the outcome and stuff like that. And then hopefully try and get a speed art video uh, with these new pencils and then we'll see what we can, uh, how we rate them personally. So before we uh, start opening this, obviously you can see it's still fully sealed. My previous pencils, what we're going to be comparing it to. The first set of pencils I've used was actually WH Smith's own. Now, compared to some of the other ones I've tried as well as these, these are actually a really good starter. Uh, they're very cheap, I think they're like three or four pound or something like that. And you get a really cool um, spectrum of colours. Obviously I've jumbled all these around, but they, when you open the box for the first time, they're all in a, a nice fancy um, order in the box. They are called... Uh, it's, it's, W.A. Smith's own brand, and it's called the Spectrum Range, if the camera will focus. You can probably just about make it out anyway. Um, it's called the Spectrum Range. There we go. Spectrum sings even. And, yeah, you sharpen these up, you get a nice sharp tip. Um, to be fair, I've not actually had any breakages with these pencils. As you can see, they've all lasted me quite nicely. And the outcome for these pencils are something on the lines of all this. Now, after I used the WH Smith ones, I then moved on to Staedtlers. Now, Staedtlers on, uh, on an art website, the, the ones I used were actually rated 7th best pencils to use. Um, I don't think I've actually done a review on these ones before. But these are actually really nice pencils to use. They're really soft, they've got an ABS lining around the lead. Um, as you can see, wow, this, uh, there we go, see the little white next to the next to the brown lead, it's got like a little lead, a uh, little ABS lining around that, and again I won't be reviewing these in this video, um, but the type of artwork what we've got out of these have vastly improved from the WH Smith ones, especially this, uh, this one here, this is all new artwork for DVD part two. So it's really nice. Um, we have also we will also be comparing well comparing it. This is also the Stadler artwork as well. Okay, so they also come in a fancy little uh, thing as well, so you can just so uh, yeah, moving on to the Castle Arts. So £50 off Amazon, let's see what we get. Obviously the, uh, the case comes with it. You can smell the newness on this. So, let's have a look. You can really smell the newness. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Wow. Right, okay, so this is this is really cool. Because you've got it's like a book. <laughs> it's like a book with all your um with all your pencils. Now look at look at the variety of colours. Any colour, let's have a look. I think pretty much any colour you want is in this this pack. Jesus. And you can really smell the um you can really smell the wood or the lead or whatever it is. So oh, that's pretty cool. It comes with a little little heart of colour. No, that's pretty cool. And what's this? So this is basically stuff what they also sell. Okay, so that's quite handy. I'll definitely look into them later. Join the Castle Club. So these are soft touch, 120 soft touch pencils. So 
each each pencil has got its own got its own name for colour. So you've got sky blue and castle green. So every single shade of colour has got its own number and name. So the round, obviously the rounded pencils, you do get triangular ones like the Staedtlers were triangular. Very smooth. About as comfortable as a normal pencil. Let's have a look at the lead. Put that back in there, don't want to ruin them. Wow. So, first hand, yeah, these are actually really nice pencils. Different texture on the colour at the back of the pencil. Um, it's like a it's like a plasticky, like a wrapped, um, a wrapped feel. But these are obviously much more smoother, uh, smoother finish. I'm just shocked at the different variety of different shades. You know, you want red, okay? <laughs> you got about ten different reds here to choose from. Greens, yeah, you got about fifty different greens. Sorry, ten different greens. All different now skin tones. Um, skin tones and silvers for me are the ones that I always struggle with because they always look the same and I've got to go off um, physically shading them in. Um, so it looks like we've got plenty of silvers. Lots of silvers, lots of skin tone colours, you know, we've got like a very pale and very pale skin colour, regular, regular like um, skin pigment, white skin pigment, some browns, some pink, some vivid pinks. For like anime characters, I mean, just look how I many I've got. We've got, we've got twice as many blues as anything else. <laughs> so you got your your dark metallic blues, and then you've got your your paler blues going into your green as well. Okay, so we can definitely cannot fault the um, the, the variety of colours here. Um, first hand, the pencils are obviously comfortable. Um, I think the next test is just to see how well these actually. Um, color with. So I'm going to skip to a speed art video now. But if anybody wants to see anything on her, this is basically what the packaging looks like. Okay, so we're going to skip to um, a speed art now then. Okay guys, so join the speed art. I just want to first off uh, give a big shout out to Illuminant Souls or Illuminant Art. Uh, his link's in the description. He actually provided the outline of this character and I'm going to be going more on about Illumison and, and this character in particular later on but for the time being we're just going to focus on uh, on the pencils and their review. <clears throat> so I've got basically eight minutes to squeeze all this in. So if I could give us a rating, these pencils, an overall rating, uh, obviously this is recorded after the speed art has been completed, I'm going to give these an eight out of ten. Why? Okay, so we're going to split this down into three things. You've got um, durability, variety and application. Obviously, variety, um, A star, I can't, can't grade this, 5 out of 5. Um, you've got 120 pencils for £50, you really cannot grumble at that for that price. You get some beautiful colours, um, you get all the different shades, and you can actually see the difference in the shades, di between the different shades as well. I mean, if you look at the eyes now, um, compared to the eyes later on in the video, they, they really stand out, they're really good. Um, next up we're going to have durability. Durability is going to get 4.5 out of 5. Um, why? Well, there was something about them, um, not going to lie. It's First off, and I know I shouldn't really compare these to the Staedtlers, but the Staedtlers have got that extra layer of protection with the ABS inner, but that's not the reason why I'm, I'm giving it half, you know, half of a point less than what it should be. Um, if you look at the pencil around the lead, you will notice that there's um, there's a little tiny little split where the it must be where the wood joins or whatever it is, and going through the sharpener, it kind of felt like the wood, you know it kind of felt like the wood was going to split, but it didn't. Now that that's obviously because it didn't. That's why it scored a higher rating, um, just not maximum score. And I don't know. There was something about the durability. Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying it's 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 the bad. But, you know, I'm not saying that they're not bad durability-wise. But you know, none of them snapped on me. I, I had no breakages whatsoever. But you've, I just had that feeling when I when I was pointing through the pencil sharpener, 
um, you know, I'm, I'm using a, a proper proper metal sharpener in that fact, it's not a cheap plastic one. And there was a tiny little split on every piece of wood uh, where the where the, the cone part, you know, the front, the tip of the pencil kind of cones outwards. Uh, and it just kind of felt like, you know, there's, there's going to be problems in the future, but, you know, touch wood. Um, there was there was none while you know I spent two hours colouring in this this paper uh, this this design should I say and I didn't suffer any breakages so that's why I got a 4.5 out of 5. Lastly, uh, application. This is obviously how well the lead spreads onto the paper. Now this is going to get a 4 out of 5. Um, this is more of a personal thing. So I colour and draw and in this case printed the outline on thick, very thick paper. It's almost card like uh, card like material. And you know it could be because they're deemed as a soft touch pencil. I didn't have this problem with the Staedtlers yet again, but I, I had to go over a lot of a, a lot of the colour and the shading um, a little bit harder around some areas because I could feel the the texture of the paper was coming through um, because it wasn't a smooth surface and the lead wasn't wasn't covering you know the whole surface area. It, it was leaving like little white speckles around. Uh, around her clothes and stuff like that where, where the lead just couldn't colour in that part of the paperwork. So for me personally it gets a 4, point, a four out of 5 for application. But if, you, if you're going to be colouring on, on regular sized paper or smooth card that could very well you know be maximum scores on your side. So that is, you know, would I suggest these pencils? Most definitely, yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, I can't see anything else bad about them. You know, you get, you get, you, you definitely get your money's worth you know, for fifty pound, um, you get your variety. You get, you know, if you look at the picture now on screen, you can see the shading comes out really well. The skin tones, you know, you've got about six different skin tones. You, you just can't doubt them. It, you know, if if you if you're looking for a, a, a branded colour, you know, and you don't want to go too you know too expensive, they, they do actually do cheaper versions of this pack of um, coloured pencils. Um, at, a, at a lesser price, but obviously with with a less variety. And so you could probably get a 60 or a 40 box of coloured pencils, and it would do you just as well. You just won't be getting the extra um, the extra shades in per colour. So I would definitely recommend this. Definitely. Um, what? How do I compare it to the Staedtlers? I still personally think the Staedtlers are better, but they were very high up on the ranking for overall. Obviously, you had like your Prisma colours and stuff at the top. Um, Staedtlers were seventh, um, but you know they're definitely they're, they're very close to the Staedtlers. I just prefer the Staedtlers, but the Staedtlers are quite expensive for what you get. So for, for, for the value for money, you know, I would definitely recommend these um, this brand, Castle Arts. Um, right, okay, so that's been reviewed on. So I've got how long have I got left? I've got uh, I've got five minutes left. So. This artwork was provided to me by Elimson Sorts. Now this is actually a character from my game. She is one of the main characters who has made an appearance in all the sets to date. Um, sorry, uh, GVE set 1 and WAE set 2. Uh, she's not made an appearance in set 3 yet, um, but I am going to be focusing on some of her other sisters later on in the future. So this character, if you don't know already, when Scott from Elimson Art designed this piece, he's actually included a lot of details and if you don't know already I'll go through them now. So the weapon she's holding is actually her legendary weapon from WAE and obviously this is his twist on, on, the, on the weapon. It's a beautiful weapon and it's a very powerful weapon especially if it's equipped to Iris. Um, that being a name if I haven't already mentioned it. Iris is one of the fire mages from the game. Um, she's one of one of five sisters and the five sisters are, apart from one of them they are. They all have their own elemental attributes. So Iris happens to be the fire mage. So the colouring in this picture kind of resembles that fire, fiery feel. You know, she's got the long red hair. She's got um, a lovely orange dress, which represents like the the the, um, the burning of a fire. Do you know at the bottom where the logs start to burn? She's got little fireballs floating around her. So it should definitely fits the theme. Another thing to note as well is if you look around the neck piece. Uh, it's got like a little zebra collar. That is actually a resemblance to when I did a speed art with one of Illumicent Souls' cards, uh, Erica. So Iris and Erica have kind of, have kind of crossed platforms between our two games. 
Uh, so when Scott drew his rendition of, of my character, he gave Iris basically a gift from Erica, which is this little this little neck piece. So that's pretty cool. Um, and obviously the clothes, the actual design of the clothes, I look very similar to how she looked in both previous sets. You know, he's, he's, he's kind of combined the style of clothes between both sets, which is actually, you know, as you can see, the, the, the design of it has actually come out absolutely amazing. So if you've not already checked out In Lives in Art, he's had to recently restart his channel because of uh, problems with YouTube. So I will tie a link to him at the end of this video and in the description. Even if you think you subscribe to him, just please go and check his channel and make sure you are definitely subscribed to him because his subscriber count has uh, dropped back to down to zero due to the reset. So most definitely give him a subscribe. He will be doing another fan art piece as well. Uh, in fact, he has already done another fan art piece, which I will be doing another similar situation where he, I print it and then I colour it in. And it's going to be one of Iris's sisters, just not one of the mages. Um, I don't think there's much else to say. So obviously, obviously the, the actual design of this character, you know, 10 out of 10 A star, you really cannot doubt the actual design of this character. Everything seems to be in place, everything's, everything is sized correctly. You really can't doubt it. So this is the final piece now. Um, and we're going to be doing a filter version as well. So as you can probably see what I was on about before, you can see like little white speckles of the paper coming through. <laughs> but this is the final outcome. And then we're going to be moving on now to a, rent a filtered version, which is what's going to be used in game. So this is the filtered version. I think it's a, I think I think it's come out really really well. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Big congrats to um, Illumisant Art is on screen now again. Check out his channel. Iris is the centre character here. What is what it's zooming onto? These are the other elemental sisters as well around her. Um, so yeah guys, thanks a lot for watching and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I shall see you in my next video.